Good morning viewers and welcome to the YouTube channel Dr. Akha. Being a veterinarian and a professor of preventive medicine, I would recommend and suggest to you that you should not consume raw animal products to save yourself from brucellosis. Brucellosis is a very bad disease. To understand that disease, we need to know what it is. Actually, brucellosis is a genosis. That means the infection is transmitted to human beings by direct or indirect contact with infected animals or their products. The infection persists in domestic animals and gets transmitted to human beings thoroughly. Who are the persons who are most exposed to this disease? Farmers who are handling the animals, taking care of them, veterinarians who are examining and treating such infected animals, and handling of milk and meat. See this picture at the end where a child is drinking milk from the cow directly. This is the worst example of drinking milk and must be avoided at all costs. Coming to the clinical manifestation of the disease, brucellosis is essentially a disease of domestic livestock. Humans are in fact accidental hosts and the human disease usually manifests itself as an acute febrile illness which may persist and progress to a chronically incapacitating disease with severe complications. Problem is with the diagnosis. People don't know whether they are suffering from brucellosis or not. In many patients, the symptoms are mild. Therefore, the diagnosis may not even be considered. Even in severe infection, differential diagnosis, how to differentiate it from other diseases is also very difficult. Do you know? Humans of all ages can get infected and human beings of both sexes are equally vulnerable to this deadly disease. So we need to know what are the source of infection, from where we get the infection. Infected cattle, sheep, goat and pigs are the main source of infection. The infection usually establishes in the reproductive tract of animals, often resulting in abortion in animals and excretion of bacteria through genital discharges and milk is a major source of human infection. Prevention is possible through control of infection in animals and by implementing hygienic measures at the individual and public health levels. Coming to the disease, it is an acute or subacute febrile illness usually marked by intermittent or remittent fever accompanied by malice, anorexia and prostration which may persist for weeks and months. Enlargement of liver, spleen and lymph nodes may occur with signs referable to these organs. The acute phase may progress to a chronic one with relapse, development of persistent localized infection or a non-specific syndrome resembling the chronic fatigue syndrome. For diagnosis of this problem, a history of recent exposure to a known or probable source of especially cattle, sheep, goats, pigs, camels, yaks, buffaloes or dogs etc. should be considered. Then the consumption of raw or inadequately cooked milk or milk products and meat and offal dried from infected animals should be considered. For laboratory confirmation, we need to do isolation of bacteria from the patient or demonstrate that brucella in blood or other tissue samples by polymerase chain reaction or we can also demonstrate the antigen in blood or other tissue samples by serological methods. Coming to the susceptibility to brucellosis. The susceptibility of human beings to the disease depends mainly upon the immune status of the person, the route of infection from which route the infection is entering the body, number three size of the inoculum and fourth is species of brucella which have various pathogenic status. The common of routes of infection through which the infection enters our bodies is Number one, direct inoculation through cuts and abrasions in the skin. Number two, inoculation via eyes, conjunctival stake. Number three, inhalation of infectious aerosol. And number four is ingestion of infectious, unpasteurized milk and dairy products. The course of disease is, in 50% of cases, is very acute with an incubation period of two to three weeks. In other 50% of the cases, the onset is insidious 
with signs and symptoms developing over a period of weeks to months from the infection. The clinical manifestations of brucellosis are varied and non-specific. There may be fever, sweats, fatigue, malaise, anorexia, weight loss, headache, arthalgia, and back pain. Actually, these patients feel better in the morning with symptoms worsening as the day progresses and afternoon is really bad. The desire to rest can be profound and depression is pervasive. If untreated, the pattern of the fever waxes and wanes over several days. That's why it's also called ambulant fever. There are several complications and the osteoarticular complications are common. Bone and joint involvement are the most frequent complication of brucellosis occurring in up to 40% of the cases. There may be sacroilitis, spondylitis, peripheral arthritis, osteomyelitis, bursitis, etc. The hepatobiliary complications of the brucellosis, the liver is commonly involved, although liver function tests can be normal or only mildly elevated. A spectrum of hepatic separative lesions have been described along with acute and chronic cholecystitis. The respiratory tract complications are also there. Aerosol inhalation is common route of infection in abattoirs where infected animals are being slaughtered. A variety of pulmonary complications have been reported including lymphadenopathy, interstitial pneumonitis, bronchopneumonia, lung nodules, pleural effusions and empyema. The genital urinary complications of brucellosis are orchitis and epididymitis are the most frequent genital urinary complication of brucellosis in men. Usually unilateral brucella orchitis can mimic testicular cancer or tuberculosis. There are very few reports implicating sexual transmission in human beings from one to another. The cardiovascular complications are infective endocarditis is the most common cardiovascular manifestation and it is the most common cause of death in case of brucellosis. The endocarditis is reported in about 2% of the cases and it involves the heart valves. The aortic valve is involved more often than the mitral valve. There are neurological complications as well. Direct invasion of central nervous system occurs in 5% of the cases of brucellosis. Meningitis or meningoencephalitis are the most common manifestations. Meningitis can be acute or chronic. It often occurs late in the course of disease, but it can be the presenting manifestation. The continuous complications are common. There can be rashes, nodules, papules, arrhythmia, nodosum, petechiae, purpura, cutaneous ulcers, abscesses, and supportive lymphangitis, so on and so forth. There are psychological effects have been also observed in brucellosis. In some patients, high incidence of personality disorders often predating the onset of brucellosis. The take home message or lesson from brucella description is drink only boiled or pasteurized milk, eat meat products prepared from boiled or pasteurized milk, especially creams. All animal products must be well cooked before consumption 